Welcome back, everybody. You know I'm a Tampa Floridian, and here's our selection. We're on the clock, baby. With the 57th pick of the 2024 NFL Draft, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers select Chris Braswell from Alabama Linebacker. Bama! Bama, everybody. Bama. Chris Braswell. From Alabama, you know what time it is. 6'3", 251 pounds. 2023, his stats. He had eight sacks. Fifth in the SEC. Y'all already know what it is. Easy work, easy work right there. Okay. Coach Saban, you know, he's there to... See those young men go from college to NFL. He's in the building. That's very nice. Welcome to Tampa, baby. Hillsborough County. Welcome to Tampa. Welcome to Tampa. He's got to continue to develop his rush plan. Had his rush plan been better, I could have seen him going even higher, especially with him and Dallas Turner. Very productive last year. Ten and a half tackles for losses. Eight sacks. He's got to continue to get the rush plan developed better. I think he'll do really, really good there. And uh, Tampa, then you have Graham Barton, which was in round one. Uh, so, we're going to see how that works out uh, as they prepare for coming into the season. But in the off season, of course, there's going to be a lot of development. All right, y'all know what it is. We back, we back, we back. Green Bay is back on the clock. Oh, my goodness. Here we go. <laughs> 58 pit. Green Bay. Javon Bullard. Nice selection. <laughs> Safety from Georgia Bulldogs. This is another nice pick. You're going to have some hungry young men. Rumble, young man. Rumble, shout out. And rest in peace, rest in love, rest in power to Ali. Javon Bullet, 5'10", 198 pounds. Safety, Georgia, has now been acquired. He's had 52 tackles, 2023. Eight pass breakups, two interceptions there in Georgia. Coming to the pack. Welcome to the pack, baby. Welcome to Lambeau. With a lot of young guns. Uh, he is, woo, he is like, he is like some nice hits there. And there it is, break up some plays and keep it moving and get an interception in there. Oh, that's really nice. I think everybody should be solid with that. Javon Buller, welcome to the pack. Edwin Cooper, welcome to the pack. Jordan Morgan, welcome to the pack. We got a young team. We have solidified a young team. Okay, now listen. I'm going to miss Aaron Jones. You know I am, but he's going to be over there with the Vikings. On the clock, the Texans. Here we go. With the 59th pick in the 2024 NFL Draft, the Houston Texans select Blake Fisher, tackle, Notre Dame. Notre Dame in the house. OT, Blake Fisher, Texas. They are bling bling, honey. If you take a look at these people's outfits, everybody is ready to go in their little outfits and how they represent their teams, and we love it. All right, so let's take a look at Blake Fisher, Notre Dame, OT, 5'5", 3'10", no, 6'5", my bad, 6'5 and a half. Okay, 27 career games played. Well, he'll get developed. Uh, Cause you ain't gonna come up and stay there in the NFL if you don't get some consistency. Sometimes we, as sport commentators and uh, analysts, and we love to overblow things here. But he has uh, career snaps: four seventy-one, uh, zone scheme three hundred seven, and that's four seventy-one in the gap. So, he finished first AFC, and uh, 
Texas uh, draft room. They feel pretty good about it. Uh, I don't see a lot of doubt, but everybody's just looking at uh, some of their vibes there. So uh, we'll see how that goes. I think these are some pretty good acquirements. Okay, so these are their selections. Kamara Lassiter in there. And uh, so we want y'all just to keep it locked here with me, BB Davis, BB Love Sports, the sports that game. It is the exquisite fusion. Okay, everybody. Okay, the skies have now darkened in the city of Detroit. And it's a blanket full of beautiful people out there supporting the NFL draft, supporting their team. Just glad to be out there. And we love to see it. I'm BB Davis. You're locked in with me here at Live Detroit 2024 NF Draft. How you feeling out there, everybody, about these picks? You know, we got a good ways to go before we get into the thick of things. And that'll be coming uh, between now and Sunday, how we think about all of these picks. But right now, we got the Buffalo Bills, Bills Mafia back on the clock. And that's Aaron Williams, Buffalo Bill pick 2011. Mom and Dad, love you guys. Siblings, all that. Okay. The 60th pick in the 2024 NFL Draft, the Buffalo Bills select Cole Bishop. Cole Bishop. Utah. Utah. 29 games for the Utes, including six as a true freshman, all constant flash here. So that is a selection there. With Bills Mafia, Young Guns, okay, six two two zero six. He won the Jim Thorpe Award, semifinalist, nation's best DB. But he knows how to break up those plays really good, so. Uh, that's a good acquirement there for Bills Mafia. And know how to get up into the end zone, fly up high, and catch the ball, and just move in traffic and make things happen. All right. So, from Keon Coleman, wide receiver, Florida State, the Cole Bishop, safety, Utah, the round two picks, number 33 is 60. Bills Mafia should feel pretty good about this one. All right, so Detroit Lions, and you're in Detroit. Make some noise. Y'all already know what it is. I'm having Mama look. You know what it is. The great Barry Sanders. You know to put on that twitty. He put on for his city. Sacrificed the rest of his career for that city. Yeah. Always got to show love. Yes, sir, Barry Sanders. Now, you want to talk about somebody who stood on 10 toes. Y'all wouldn't draft me anywhere, so I walked away. But still celebrate. You better believe it. He is the greatest RB. Yes, he will always get that love, baby. Look at there. Look at that. Sea. Sea full of people. I love that for my a city select it good lord now that's a good pick Ennis Rakestra Jr. quarterback Missouri oh my goodness y'all know Detroit made noise Last season, and I expect them to make that same noise and then some coming back into uh, the upcoming NFL season. Oh, take a look. Look at his parents. Love it. Mama said, praise God. Y'all know when they do that little move. <laughs> I 
I love it. Cornerback, Missouri. 30 tackles. Jeez. Yeah. Very nice. He understands how to play football. He's best in the sticky man coverage. Doesn't see the ball well in off coverage, but if he's up on you, understanding how to get his hands on you and play to the wide receiver can do that. And, and break them players up at ease. Okay, 110 tackles, 20 pass breakouts in the career. Ennis Rakestraw Jr. going to Detroit. And what a nice place to lay your head at and make more dreams come true because Detroit is on fire right now. Um, they had Terry on Martin in round one, pick number 24. So they're getting their pieces in really, really nice. Detroit should feel really good about that. Mama got up and did that little dance. Yes, she did. Ha <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay, pick is in. Baltimore, where you at? Where you at? Raven Nation, stand up. Ravens up next on the clock for the selection. And I love how they transition these colors. Ravens on the clock. Here's the selection. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, Detroit is always on fire. Love it. Flock Nation. Here we go. Woo. That's a nice, that's a nice addition. Roger Rosengarten going to the Ravens. Offensive tackle. From Washington. Nice acquirement. He was honorably mentioned in the Pac-12. He pretty quick. That big boy is quick. Okay, we got a trade pick, everybody. We got a trade pick. Okay, on the clock, trade quick. It's going to be San Francisco. Trades to Kansas City. Oh, my God. We got to wait on that one, y'all. We got to wait on that one. Oh. All right, let's get back to this. But there's a trade pick. The two teams, 49ers, Kansas City. They just did a trade off, everybody. All right, we're going to be talking about all this. But right now, Baltimore Ravens, welcome. Okay, Roger, to the flock. All right, we're inside the Ravens' war room, the draft room. Everybody's feeling pretty good about this. Okay, everybody's feeling pretty good. Everybody's feeling pretty good. Being a developmental guy who maybe can put on some weight and work on his ability to play with consistent leverage, that's a nice pickup for Eric Cosby. All right, so we've had another trade here. Another trade. For the second consecutive night, the Chiefs have moved up. So the Chiefs go up in the draft. The end of round one have now done the same here. They moved up one spot from 64 to 63. Last night, now they just. Kansas City Chiefs selection. So with this trade up, I wonder who the 49ers was eyeing. We soon shall see. All right, Jamal Charles, four-time Pro Bowl selection. San Francisco, San Francisco 49ers have traded the 
in the 24 in the 24 draft, can't see select Kinsley Tuamaya from BYU tackle. Okay, Kingsley Sumataya Sumataya BYU Okay, so He's going to The Kansas City Chiefs And we all know that's not bad at all So, for them to agree with this You know, right now he's at 6'4", 326 uh, Second in the Big 12 so that's a nice acquirement. We're sorry about that, everybody. That's a nice acquirement right there. Uh, and he did transfer. Uh, from Oregon at the 2021 season. So then you have Xavier Worthy, round one, wide receiver, Texas. These are going to be nice uh, additions into our already well structured team as Super Bowl champions. Uh, looking for more Super Bowl wins, the Kansas City Chiefs. So we're inside the Chiefs draft room, war room, and um, they're feeling pretty good about this acquirement. I would love to see it we all went into that trade-off with the 49ers. The round, San will make it right after this. So San Francisco 49ers will do their trade, so keep it locked. Okay, everybody, we got the pickers in. It's coming. They're on the clock. This is the 49ers that did the trade just a few moments ago with the Chiefs. So here we go. 49ers selection. We bossing up. It's good to be back home at the crib. I went to school down the street from here, 3200 East Lafayette Street. Detroit Martin Luther King Crusaders. So it's an honor and a pleasure to be here with the 64 pick in the here we go. NFL draft. The NFC champion, San Francisco 49ers select Renato Green. Renardo Green from Florida State, cornerback. So the CB. 49ers adding to the team, and we're going to check it out and see what's going on here. He's 5'11", 185. Second team all in the ACC. And uh, he did some pretty good stats. One interception, 13 passes, defended both in the career. 52 games, 143 tackles, 22 passes defended for his career at Florida State. Nice head, nice catch, quick with it. Nice, what you call a uh, clutch. So, <clears throat> that was a good trade alert. We got another trade alert coming. But yeah, 49ers, quarterback Florida State, Ronaldo Green. First round was Ricky Purcell, wide receiver, Florida. We have another, once again, another trade alert that's coming here. The 49ers draft room, everybody seems pretty pleased with this trade and the pick. But we got another trade coming. And if I'm correct, I think this is going to be with the Panthers. But we'll hold on here. Uh, all eyes on the Jets here. New York Jets on the clock. We 
We're having a military moment. It's always good coming from a military family myself. It's always a proud moment to recognize the sheroes and the heroes, the heroes and the sheroes. So Roger Goodell, he's shaking the hands of all of the service men and women. So, we love that. So here we go with the jet selection. So they ask it all military to stand and be uh, recognized and get some love. Okay, so the Jets are up next after that moment for their selection. Now, we know that Aaron Rodgers came in on the first game and just ACL done. And we don't know what's going to happen there with the upcoming season, but we are going to look real close here at this selection. Uh, here in this third round, they have a variety of needs. They addressed one on the offensive line last night in round one, taking all this fashion news from Penn State. Quickly, Mel, what area do you expect the Jets to be looking for? So we're going to see what the Jets do. Areas. I like Malachi Corley. It's one of my favorite players in this draft. I highlighted him even before we started in one day two of the draft. Malachi Corley is a beast before he comes off the board. Like some safeties coming off as well, but I think the wide receiver position still presents the value of the Jets and Pete Helton. Well, they have the wide receiver making the announcement. Here we go. So here we go, Jets fans. So it's glad to see my city doing so good. Also, shout out to the University of Michigan. Go Blue. Now it's time to get on the board. Go Blue, you know what time it is. <laughs> E-T-S-J-J-J-J. The Carolina Panthers have traded. This Carolina's about to trade it. New York to the Jets. The, in the, 2024 draft, the New York Jets select Malachi Corley. Wide receiver out of West Virginia. Got a wide receiver. So if any of y'all were thinking it was going to be anything else, but yeah, Malachi Corley, okay. Western Kentucky, second time, first team all, USA, really good acquirement there for the Jets, it's definitely going to be needed. We had a lot of talk with people thinking that they were going to go ahead and require another QB, but I don't think that is in the works at all. But lightning fast there, uh, Malachi Corley, Western Kentucky, wide receiver. 259 reception, school record. Woo! So that's a good acquirement coming there. For the Jets, so they should be feeling pretty good about that one. So you know what to do. Keep it locked, everybody. Keep it locked.